This was the moment Tony Hudgel raised more than a million pounds for charity by walking 10 kilometers on his prosthetic legs. It was a remarkable achievement for a boy of five, but Tony is used to challenges. For the first few weeks of his life, he suffered horrific abuse at the hands of his birth parents. His injuries were so bad, he had to have both his legs amputated. He was tiny, broken, shut down, legs still in plaster, arms had only come out of plaster the day before. He developed septicemia, toxic shock, multi-organ failure, and was on life support. It was just unthinkable of what, of what he'd gone through in those few short weeks of his life. His parents, Tony Smith and Jody Simpson, were both jailed for 10 years for child cruelty and neglect. But Tony's adoptive mum, Paula, says the maximum sentence for child cruelty should be life. For child cruelty offences, um, the uh, sentencing tariff as it stands is just not high enough. Uh, 10 years for a child that survives maximum and 14 years for a child um, that dies. Tony's adoptive parents are working with their local MP to try and pass a new bill that will be known as Tony's Law. This bill is intended to bring the appropriate sentencing for the appropriate crimes. And what worse crimes could there possibly be than the betrayal of a young child by his birth parents and his brutalisation to the point where he lost both his legs and was nearly killed? Are you ready? Let's go. Tony is now six and thriving at school. It just shows that anything's possible. It doesn't matter how awful your start in life is, that actually things can really be turned around and you can make a change and make a difference to so many. He's been through so much. But if the law is changed, those who abuse children like Tony should face much tougher sentences. Leila Hayes, Five News.